Buenos dias, good morning, bonjour, bonjour, no, aloha, kakaha, kia, nyongaseyo. Oh, it's been so long since I turned on my camera. I actually feel a little bit weird turning this back on, recording myself, because it's been well over a week, probably even two weeks. I gotta look into the date, but I'm turning on my camera now because I'm finally getting an external hard drive five terabytes so that I can empty my phone, empty my hard drive, empty the external hard drive my husband let me borrow because he has a one terabyte one that I completely filled up. So I can get back to editing, I can get back to sharing my life with you guys. And so much has changed in just these past couple days. So, so, so much. I can't tell you right now though because I'm on my way to teach my class my 11 o'clock kids that I see, the two little brothers, you've got to see my husky, hang on. <laughs> oh, she stopped. Let me see, you can see better here. Nope, never mind. She's enjoying life, getting her suntan on. Oh, I don't want to bring her back inside, but I got to go. So yes, I uh, got my students in about five minutes, then I'll come back and it's actually t seminar day. Today is seminar day from my home business. It's basically like a really big conference that they do once a year. They give awards for end of the year, achievements and challenges and all that stuff. So I cannot turn my camera on for too long after I get back, but I gotta catch you guys up. You've missed out on so much and I'm so sorry that I didn't get to share any of that with you. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. So excited to share my life with you again. Don't pay attention to my hair, it was windy outside. Anyway, oh, got back. Gotta set this up because as I mentioned, seminar. So I'm gonna put laptop number one hooked up to the TV with an HDMI so I can just watch it there on the TV and not on the computer. Then I'm gonna have laptop number two, which is right here that I had with my kids uh, to do some work while I participate in seminar. Oh, and as I mentioned oh, just a little while ago, I was expecting my five terabyte, five terabyte hard drive, try saying that three times fast, 
to uh, empty my phone and everything else. And yes, it's here. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, post office for operating. Okay, here we go. Tear to open. Yay! As I always mention, none of the things on my channel are sponsored, meaning that I do not get any sort of royalties or benefits or anything. I don't get anything from any of the things that I've mentioned on my channel to you. These are just recommendations, things that work for me, things that I really like. Uh, here is the Seagate portable drive that we got. This is five terabytes and it's actually pretty slim for five terabytes. Super excited. I'm going to hook this up to my other laptop, to my Predator. I'm going to leave the Lenovo hooked up to the TV and just multitask. After seminar is over, which I believe lasts somewhere around three hours, I'll tell you guys about everything else that has been going on. Exciting things are happening. No, I'm not pregnant. I have to say that out front first because yes, I'm turning 34 this year and the topic is there for everybody to just bring up out of the blue. Like, oh, hey, what are you waiting for to have a kid? Well, let's not get into those kinds of topics. Those are that's heavy talk right now. This is a good day, and I gotta catch up on good stuff that's happened. This is so upsetting. You've already seen before what I have my home business with, so I don't care. I'm gonna show you. It is very, very glitchy. A little while ago, it said bad gateway. I was actually on there on the live broadcast page about 13 minutes before it was supposed to begin. And when it hit live, it lasted about a minute and then it crashed. Uh, a little while passed, they posted on their main website that they're having technical difficulties. Then I got an email saying they're having technical difficulties. I talked to some people online who do the same thing I do and they said they were having trouble too. So I took advantage of my extra time that I didn't think I would have, called my parents, talked with them a little while. I'm also, as you can tell, I have my external hard drive there, the five terabyte, I have it there hooked up. So I'm downloading or uploading, let's just say transferring. I'm transferring all my files over to that hard drive. That way my laptop can have more room and not glitch as much because when the hard drive starts getting really full, you remember a long time ago, do you remember this clip? So you can see that I probably type a few words and it turns off. I didn't even type, I just moved the mouse. Well, I'm done trying. <laughs> Oh, so bad right now. So Apparently, bad. it turns off when it has very little storage left. So uh, I'm seeing that next one is going to be this one, the one terabyte, and then it'll be my phone. Since the website is still not working and this is clearly going to take up a lot of time. See, this one's still loading and this one's still transferring. I'm going to make myself some lunch, which um, I didn't think I would have time for get to work on other stuff that quite frankly I was just gonna leave for next week because I mentioned seminar is a three-hour thing today tomorrow and Saturday uh, so probably I could get a head start on all those other things make the best of this time you guys seminar was a bust they had some serious technical issues ended up sending an apology postponing the show not entirely sure if it's gonna be tomorrow or what it just said it's gonna be postponed in case you heard that that was my dog <laughs> but uh, nothing happened I'm very upset as I'm sure are a million people who were trying to log in to watch this but as you can see I also made the best of my time Tried to play around with the new eyeshadows from the fall collection. I'm gonna try to master using glitter, because by the way, this has shine on it. Yeah, I don't even think it, you can see it right now, but it, it, was, it was all over my face. There was a lot of fallout. I gotta practice. And I'm editing my vlog. This is July 12th, by the way. I am so sorry. Also watching Young and Hungry. Just because I kind of left it at season two, don't know what happened after that, and I'm catching up again, had to start from the beginning. My dog is complaining about something, not entirely sure if it's to go outside or what, because it's too early to eat. My husband said he was going to be out by four, because this is one of the things that you missed out on. COVID cases here in Hawaii have been increasing, unfortunately. When they reopened the economy, restaurants, parks, you name it, everything was open. 
cases started spiking. So we went back to the whole uh, gyms are open, but no cardio. Pools are open with a limited amount of people. Basically, it's just back to safety as much as possible, including my husband's work. We're back to soldiers go in probably every other day or something like that. They have their own kind of schedule, however it works for them. But according to battalion, they were supposed to be released at four for safety. It is now 513. I have not heard a peep out of him that he's on his way or he's delayed or anything. As far as COVID at home goes, you know that Monday is my infusion. My husband is pretty concerned because the companies right next to his already have some positive COVID cases. You know how contact tracing works. So he's going to see if he can be one of those people they've uh, cut or how, how would you say they gave a little break to some people at his job if they have immunocompromised people at home or infants, anybody high risk, because I'm literally just going to have my immune system put out. <laughs> uh, he's going to see if he can uh, either work from home or... I don't know something something but he's already back to and that's something i did get to get a clip of yesterday he's back to walking in through the laundry room to do the whole protocol that we have of taking off his shoes and his uniform throwing it in the wash or leaving it in the laundry room so when he goes to work the next day he can just put it back on and leave through the laundry room uh, as soon as he gets out of the laundry room he goes straight into the shower uh, so he can take every, like, you know, just kill the virus if it's anywhere, God willing it's not, and then he can be free to roam around the house. <laughs> We're back to that. Uh, we, I call it a protocol, but I don't know, I guess like you could call it a routine. We have been walking the doggies too. Probably what she's asking for. ¿Qué tú quieres, Lali? Tienes que ir afuera. Oh, did you see that cute face? Tienes que ir afuera, Lali. Yeah, I think she probably has to go outside. As far as the move goes, we still don't have any dates set. We don't have any sort of information. The only thing my husband has received so far is the levy brief. If you don't know what that is, you can probably just Google it because I honestly don't know how to explain it. But probably the best thing I can tell you is that it uh, prepares you for the fact that you're moving. Much better. Anyway, even though we are moving, this is something I really wanted to tell you because it is so exciting and it's something I've been striving for for years, not even months, years. You guys know I, uh, I know, I vented a lot about it, but in all fairness, it was such a huge letdown. You know that I applied yet again for a job and got turned down, but um, if you want to know why that was such a big deal, just check out the video. I'm not going to go over that all over again, but uh, I had tried going out on my own a couple times actually when we were back in New York and when we arrived here, the only thing that was working for me was my home business in retail or in direct sales, however you want to look at it. But uh, I really wanted to somehow get back to teaching. My husband just sent me a message with a crying face. Okay, yeah, he's still at work. You've seen in a few of my videos that teaching really is my passion. He said, just wait till I tell you. Got another vent coming along, huh? Yes, so teaching is my passion and it's not, it's not anything forced, really. It's just one of those things that's come so easily to me. I truly, truly, genuinely enjoy it. And when it happens randomly, like somebody says, oh man, I wish I could learn French. And I start telling them, well, you know, it's quite simple because there are some similarities between English and French. And if they know Spanish, even better, even easier. We start talking, they get so excited. When I'm with kids especially, oh, kids just melt my heart because they get so happy when they learn something new and just thinking about it, look how I'm getting. But anyway, teaching for some reason, even if I don't make a lot of money, even if it's so much work, I just enjoy it. It makes me happy. I light up. But anyway, that was a really long intro to let you know that my schedule is full. I actually have just three students who are taking private lessons, but one of them is taking three different classes with me. And 
two, two of them are taking two different classes. So I'm actually planning five different classes, but because I had some friends who approached me and said, oh my gosh, I really wanted you to help my kid with this or that, or I wanted him to learn this or that. I said, I just, I can't, I, I, I won't have enough time. It's, it's our, my schedule is already tight as it is. So I offered homework help tutoring sessions after school, especially with this whole distance learning thing, everybody's lost and I wish I could just help everybody. And my schedule, like that. I posted it on my Facebook before I made it public and I, I wanted to give my friends and family first tips. That same night, my schedule was just full. On top of that, I also got a job offer for French lessons. Oh my gosh, what I've been looking for for the past six years, because I miss French so much. It's what I prepared for. French was actually my focus when it came to teaching, and it was the least I did ever since I got married. Not that marriage had anything to do with um, me being better about not teaching French. Seriously, I'm actually serious. I just like, can you tell how my heart is just, Oh, about to pop out of my chest because this is what I've been wanting for so long and I'm so happy this is finally happening. I'm sorry that I'm raving so long, but I haven't talked to you in forever and you missed the whole process of how I created my first ever teaching flyer and all the days where I got the message from this person and when I was talking to these parents and when my third student who came along asked, well, I need help with conversational English. All right, I talked to the person, said, well, she does need help with this too. You know, I can help, right? So I'm teaching the student English, Spanish, and math is more like a review. I'm not teaching anything. That's more like this is a better way of doing this and, and helping this person out with uh, some, some math difficulties. I am not a math teacher, but you know, we can help. Oh my gosh, I absolutely hate that we're leaving now, but you know what? I'm gonna include this video in my Military Spouse Life playlist. Please go check it out. These are the videos that show stuff that happens in a military lifestyle, in a military family that you don't typically see in the civilian world. Right now, this is one of those situations. We've been here for two years. We were meant to be here for three, but my husband's move date was uh, moved up to two years because he's going to a school in Alabama, right? It's hard to set down roots anywhere you move. It takes sometimes more than a year. Sometimes it's instant. But for me, it took a year and a half. It finally happened for me and we're leaving in less than six months, probably about two or three, but I'm just trying to paint that picture of I'm not even gonna get to enjoy this that much. Hopefully it'll just carry over to Alabama since a lot of my students are actually at a distance in different states, but this is part of it. Something great happens and you gotta let it go. I'm not entirely sure if my husband's message of just wait till I tell you about it meant that he's out and he's on his way to tell me or if he's still there and has stuff to tell me. So I'm gonna go check on him for a second because I also gotta finish my stuff before he gets home, you know, that we like to spend time together. I'll see you guys in a bit.